Welcome back guys for some more Dying Light. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a routine that I use for easy or easier lock picking. Um, I'm going to take you to a location um, underneath the museum and you will get the keys to this uh, weapon stash after you finish the side quest Chasing Pass. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the music down. In fact, I'm going to turn the music off completely and leave the special effects um, on. So we just grab the music volume and we turn it down completely. You can raise the special effects volume if you want to right to the top, but I'll leave that entirely in your hands. The idea is that you don't have any distraction at all uh, whilst you're practicing doing these lock picks because you can listen for the sound. Um, you can listen for where the tumblers do certain things. It takes a little bit of practice. Um, pretty much almost there with mine. Uh, practice. I do use it quite a lot and it just saves some time and it just saves some lock picks. So we're going to head straight to that location. I did do a video about the weapon stash in the museum so I'll link that video in the in this video's description and you can see more about that. So let's just get quickly over here and head to that location. The bit I've marked on the map is rough is the rough area where it is. It doesn't have to be exact because you're going to be heading in this general direction. Basically it's southeast of the old town map. And you're going to be heading towards the water and looking for the boats. Now here we go. Selection of three boats. You can jump in there and loot the stuff if you want to but we're just going to bypass that for now. And the boat you're looking for as a guide is not these but you can go around the outside. You're looking for this one here that's half submerged with the uh, the bow, uh, the front of the boat, sticking out of the water. So if we get to this point just here, so we're just behind it, drop down, do a 180, and there's your entrance. <laughs> as long as you're quick along here, you should have enough air. I don't run out of air when I do this. So it's straight ahead. Uh, take a right. Look for these planks, go underneath them. Up left. Take a little bit of a breather at this top of this uh, gate here. Down right, through and a left. And these are the gates that you're looking for. If you go through here, you'll come out of the water, you'll see a red door and you'll want to turn right. Now, the, like I said, the keys to this you only get once you've finished the side quest chasing past. And you'll do that later on in the game when you get to Old Town. Let's just get through here. You see, we're not going to be bothered down here by any volatiles and no, there's no other sounds to distract us, so let's get straight into it. Okay, and we're done without breaking the lockpick. The pouch as well. Uh, another one this side. So the point that you're looking for is the point where you're turning the pick and there is no sound. That's how I do it anyway. It may vary for you, but I'll have this pouch. I don't really want any rusty wrenches, thank you. <laughs> I'll have that pouch as well. So it's one of my favourite places because you, uh, you don't get any other sounds around you. zombies or firecrackers going off or anything like that so it's nice and easy to do just work your way back you 
can take a bit of practice on some easier ones, some easier crates, and work your way up to the very hard ones. Straight out and onto this bit. And the rocks keep dry. <laughs> anyway, if that's helped you, please give us a like on the video. Thank you very much. It does help me out. And thanks again for liking and sharing the videos. I'll see you in the next one.